Hey guys, my name is Jared. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. Thank you so much for tuning in, seeing what we're all about. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the age old question. Is it all about looks? Are women only interested in the way a guy looks? Matter of fact, if a guy doesn't have certain characteristics, six foot tall, six pack abs, makes six figures or more, are all of these the only thing specific that women look for in dating? And the answer is yes and no. Now follow me with this because oftentimes what you see on social media and some of the red pill content that's out there on YouTube and other forums is they push this ideology that all women are only interested in X. And anytime you hear somebody say all, you wanna take a step back and kinda of ask yourself, is that true? Are all women only interested in looks? Well, you can back test yourself. Maybe you know somebody, and maybe it's you yourself, who isn't conventionally good looking, but you have no problem, or they've had no problem, dating women better looking than them or conventionally better looking than them. You could say also, oh, Jared, yeah, but they have money. Okay, fair enough. But this, this, the question still is, is all women only interested in looks? What women are more interested in is the complete package, as well as men. So if you're only dating based on looks, this goes for men and women. It's a very transactional or very superficial way of looking at dating because somebody might be very good looking. Think of somebody like Brad Pitt. If Brad Pitt wasn't Brad Pitt, if he wasn't a movie star and somebody who looks exactly like him walks into any bar, would it be guaranteed that all women in that bar would want to sleep with him? No. Would it be guaranteed that all women would find him good looking? No, some women might want more of a masculine type of look. He's a very good looking guy conventionally, but he is kind of more feminine looking. His bone structure is a little bit more feminine, but he's still good looking. But the idea is not all women find him attractive. The same goes for women. I've dated women who are complete knockouts, and then I've dated women that are they're beautiful to me, but that doesn't necessarily mean other men would find them a 10. And the idea is you're trying to find the full package. What other compensating interests or what other compensating characteristics do these people have that make them so attractive to the opposite sex? And so it's not all just about looks. So anytime you hear a man or a woman say it's all about looks, ask yourself, where are they getting their information from? Chances are they're getting their information. If you're a guy, you're probably getting your information on the fact that maybe you've asked a bunch of beautiful women out over the course of your life and you've gotten shot down most of the time. And so you, you, create this thought in your head that, oh, she only, she only wants the good looking guys. Fuck me, I'm, I'm destitute, I'm supposed to be alone and just jerk off all day long. The idea is what other characteristics do you have that might be turning her off? See, when I coach men who are struggling in dating, now I'm not a dating or pickup artist or anything like that. I mostly focus on what a man can control. And he can't control a yes or a no for a woman, but he can control his actions. He can control who he is, and he can level himself up to be the best version of himself. And then this allows other women, this allows women to enter his orbit because he's, his vibe, his energy, his charisma, his character, the way he presents himself, all help with maybe the less or the more negative tracks that he might not be conventionally good looking. He might dress well, he might have his shoulders back, all of these things. 
But when I talk to men who come up with this idea that I have been single for you know, months, years, whatever it is, and every time I talk to a woman and ask her out, she says no. Then they start looking for evidence. They start looking for information on why do all these women say no. And they go to these forums and say, oh, it's because you're not conventionally good looking. Women are superficial. Women are only interested in that Chad look. And to be fair, yes, some women are. Just like some men are only interested in dating hot, beautiful women, and they overlook women who might not be conventionally good looking or might not be as good looking as they probably could get. You may have seen videos on what's called the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. And, the, and really the 80-20 rule was never intended to be used for dating or interpersonal relationships because everybody's unique, everybody has different ideas what beautiful is, everybody has their own individuality. And the 80-20 rule is actually an economic model and basically it states 80% of your inputs come from 20% of your efforts. That's really what it, what it means. Or you can flip it the other way, 20% of your customer base generates 80% of your income. And it's used very well in business and other economic models but it falls flat on its face when you're dealing with humans, when you're dealing with people, because everybody's individual. Everybody has different ideas of what they want. Everybody has different backgrounds, social backgrounds, economic backgrounds, all of this. And so what a lot of pickup artists, red pill community, they draw you in and say, well, 80% of women only are pining for 20% of the men. And if you're not in that 20% group, you're kind of fucked. Now, to be fair, what I've noticed is you want to be in that top 20% as best as you can. And what that just basically means is you want to be as high value as you can. You want to be part of that group of men who they're not all good looking, they're not all Chads, they're not all Brad Pitts, but they have their life together. They might have good income. If they're not very good looking, they have done work on themselves physically. They've hit the gym. Uh, they dress well. They groom well. They do all of these things that kind of shore up maybe their lack of societal good looks. But as a package, they're very attractive to their women, to the women they're dating. And so I need you to understand that if you have said all women only want the hot guys, I can never get a beautiful woman, every time I shoot my shot, I get shot down. Ask yourself what other characteristics, what other traits are you bringing to the table to show her that you're high value and that, yeah, you might not be conventionally good looking, but everything else about you sort of surpasses that. So the entire package becomes more pleasing to her, if you want to call that. And women, it's the same way. A lot of women I have coached, some of them are completely, they're drop dead gorgeous and they can't get a man because their attitude sucks. And a lot of times, this is where it is. It's your attitude. It's the way you're thinking about men. It's the way you're thinking about women. It's the way you're presenting yourself. And so, if you are the type of man who is just sick and tired of hearing the same rhetoric over and over again, but yet you're sort of subscribing to that idea that, yeah, I'm just going to be alone. I'm just going to be you know, destitute, I'm never gonna get a girlfriend, I'm never gonna get a wife. Think about what you're saying, I'm never, I'm never, this is happening, this is happening. The only thing you can change is your actions, your actions and your ideas and your thoughts to this situation. So a couple of things I would suggest that you do is, if you're not very good looking, but you're overweight, well now you have two negative things against you. It is going to be harder for more women 
to find you attractive. Lose the weight, go to the gym. You don't have to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but look healthy. Maybe you have really a piss poor diet and your skin's really bad and you're not very well groomed and you kind of dress like a toddler. Well, all of those things you could fix in real time. Dress a little bit better. When you dress better, I always tell guys, dress a little bit better than the environment you're going into. So for instance, if you're just hanging out with your buddies at a bar, don't wear a three-piece suit. Now you're gonna look completely out of place and look retarded. But if they're all just wearing regular shirts like this, put a polo shirt on, a nice dressed up shirt, roll up your sleeves, just dress just a little bit better than your environment. What that signals to you first is, okay, I, find value in me. When I go out, I want to present myself as best as possible. And so maybe women in that bar, they might not find you exactly their type as far as good looks or, or whatever you want to call that subjective reality. A lot of people think about looks, but they're going to look at you and say, well, he's well-dressed. He carries himself well. He's coming up and talk to me. Maybe you would get at least a little bit more of a chance to be able to ask her out and she says yes. Well, if you dress with a toddler and you got a WWE fucking t-shirt on and you go up to her, she's gonna be like, what is, what is this? So you can't blame her. She is hypergamous by nature. She's looking for the best deal she can. And the way you present yourself, if you're presenting yourself with the ideas, it's okay if you say no, it's okay if you don't like me, I don't like myself, she's gonna agree with you. And what I found is when guys dress down and they don't groom themselves, they have this huge beard or whatever, it's signaling to these women that you don't really take yourself seriously. You don't really find value in yourself. So how can I find value in you? So a couple of things you can do, just dress a little bit better than your environment. Again, don't go overboard, groom yourself. If you have a big beard, but the area you're around is most people aren't dressed like that or not wearing a big beard. A lot of guys have that. I get it. I think it's kind of disgusting. Trim it up. If you have this huge beard, also maybe just considering shaving it to stubble. Most women prefer a subtle stubble effect than this huge beard. Maybe you've had the same hairstyle for 10, 15 years. Change up your hairstyle. Talking about being groomed, again, I can't tell you how many guys I interact with within a day, and it seems like soap is their kryptonite. Wash. Put some deodorant on. I know you guys know this, but if you're presenting to a woman and you're trying to ask her out and all of these things are negative, you smell like shit, you have this huge beard, you're dressed like a toddler, and you're really not that good looking, of course women are gonna say no. So you can do things very quickly to bring your image up. The other thing you can do, besides going to the gym, eating well, drinking water, making sure your skin's right, is have a good skin routine, is understand that you're not always going to be somebody's cup of tea, but you can definitely be somebody's shot of whiskey. There are women out there who are gonna find you attractive. There are women out there who are going to give you a chance, but you have to change your attitude. You have to change your mind. You have to come to the idea that, you know what? I got a good job, I'm a good person, um, I have friends, I have great family, I have good health. Some woman someday is gonna be lucky to have me. That's the attitude you need to have. Not this attitude that ugh, all women are only interested in these alpha chads and all women, you know, they're so superficial. If you have that attitude, you're gonna get nowhere in life. And I know there's a lot of red pill content and, and I agree with a lot of it, but a lot, that toxic side is not doing you any good. So it's not all about looks. It's just not. The Pareto principle, this 80-20 that you keep hearing over and over again, is an economic model. It was never designed 
to be used in interpersonal relationships. That's all I got on this one. I know it's a shorter one. My name is Jared. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found videos like this helpful, please consider subscribing, commenting on the video, and hitting that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. And in the description below, consider joining our free Facebook group. And if you want to take it one step further to actually get in to a all men's coaching platform, mentorship platform, click the link below, see what that's all about. It's an introductory rate of $97. There's so much content that you will not find on my YouTube channel. You won't find it on my free Facebook. It's specifically for the men who want to invest into themselves. Consider joining that. You can cancel anytime. My name is Jared, and we will talk soon. Thanks.